Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rogue Life, the stream where we play roguelike games, talk about them, and generally also sometimes my life. There might be a musical interlude because I'm feeling frisky. Let's uh, see how it's going there in the sunless sea. Oh, this is going to be good times. We're at the edge of the world at a place called the Avid Horizon. We, uh... I can't remember what the hell I was doing. Oh, I'm just trying to explore the northeast quarter of the map. Uh, which will probably lead to my doom. Uh, I've also been uh, keenly informed that I should have been training in iron. And mirrors. But, whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, I can't open the high gate until I've got materials from the passage. Uh, what's in my hold? How's it going? Watchful Curio. Uh, which I can do something with. Empty mirror catch box. That means if I pick up uh, some clay men, uh, I should be able to travel... Uh, into the Underdark beneath uh, Hunter's Keep. So, let's see how it goes. Esteval's right there, and there's Nuncio. Let's just uh, go east away, and then we'll drop by Esteval. It'll be good times. Chapel of Lights. I think I have someone who wants to go there. Uh, why was I trying to get to the Chapel of L Lights? Which side of the island is your dock on? So apparently attacking pirates can be quite lucrative in this game, so perhaps when Captain Penny has moved on, I will make Captain... Oh god, what's the captain from... Uh, from Friends at the Table. Ah, oh, darn. Chapel of Lights. Do you hear... music? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter, beware, the aisle is full of voices. Eat of the chapel's bounty. A smiling priest unlocks the door of the warehouse for you here. Eat, but take nothing away with you. Yes. Okay, I'm going to gather intelligence first. What occurs between the darkness and the light? A smiling priest, a red cossack. In a red cossack, tends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note know the name of a ship or two. Hey, Sigil Rid Rid Ridden Navigator! Oh, goodness. Hark! The bell! The bell! You give chase. Within, the air is heavy and hushed. You enter to see your navigator shaking a smiling priest by the collar. It led me here. Tell me what it means. Look at it. Look at it! The priest disentangles himself as politely as possible. I'm sure we can find a path to put you on, my friend. He examines the sigil with a professional air of a collector. But we will need your help in return. Pay a price. I need two live specimens. Our stores are running low. If we cannot feed our congregation, our mission must end. Can you provide? The fresher, the better. Your navigator has nothing. He pleads for your help. I don't know where to get live specimens. Pay another price. The priest slips his arm around your shoulders. For you, a lesser payment, he whispers. Post no guards on your ship tonight. Ask no questions. And in the morning, perhaps, you'll find you'd like to join us for breakfast. Ah, uh, if I were unaccountably peckish. Uh, so, okay. Now now I know I need live specimens or 
uh, or to be unaccountably packaged. Uh, attend a service at the chapel. It's going to cost me five supplies. Ah, let's do it. The great bell tolls, the few and ragged faithful gather for St. Arthur's lesson. Bring your offerings. Echoes in the chapel. Oh yes, the priest says, smiling. The drowned man hums tonight. His song like a fish row clouds the water. He waits for the congregation's ascent. We will feel him in the harps of us. And if his tune is caught, it will be raised to the sky where the bright birds pass. Here the congregation cry out like birds, and the cries rattle away in the rafters. And the air hangs sultry, and the gods no longer frown. At the end of the service you lease, your lips still wet, and your stomach filled with secrets. You could grow rich on this diet, if you live. I have quite a lot of terror. Uh, I've got lessons at the chapel. I'm unaccountably peckish. I've gained a secret, which is delightful, uh, which means it's time to uh, feed some of my crew to the bad guys. A new destination. The chapel's congregation are soft-footed. No one on board hears them come or go. In the morning, a crewman's bed is empty. You divert your crew's concerns. Later, you take part in a late, warm, red breakfast in the church's crypt. When you emerge from merge with the smiling priest, your navigator hurries forward from, from a pew. The sigil. What does it mean? Who carved it on me? What did I do to deserve it? The smiling priest raises a hand. You were on a journey, my friend. Take one step at a time. I've seen your sigil before, carved in this, the ice at Frostfound. Go there, and you will answer your first question. That will lead you to your next. The navigator's thanks are muted. He plods back to your ship. Before you leave, the smiling priest gives you a wink. I've eaten one of the crew. Uh, la la la, time to go to Frostfound. La la la. Do you have shops? No, of course not. Of course not. Uh... Uh, I don't want to gain wounds. Uh, I do have some hunger that I could clear, which is, would be good. I'm going to do it. Which would also, they have shark steaks plucked from the sea, thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper, a little crimson, little crimson cakes flavored with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds. Deviled pork kidneys on crusty bread. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. My phone is not muted. My phone is now muted. Let's move on, shall we? Just a little ways east. And then down to Estival, where hopefully we'll find supplies. Supplies! Iram is some distance to the east. Oh. Well, this is pretty. Would you call this pretty? Are those rose petals? None have ever spoken truthfully of this place. Irem, the pillared city, she will rise from the sea and the ice like dawn. She will be garlanded with red and decked with gold. The seven serpent will watch you longingly from its highest pedestal. You will always arrive as a stranger, but when you leave, some part of you will always remain. Rest, traveler, or our waters are warm, our cushions are petal soft. Lay your head here and you will be healed, or better yet, you will be renewed. Payment in coffee? Yes, please. 
I will compile a port report. A conundrum. When you will sit down to write the report, you will recall that it was written already. Who wrote it? The report records that. It was already written when it was found. Who found it? The report describes another re report, which indicate, which will indicate the name of the finder. Where is the other report? There is a footnote which describes when you will record its location. When will that be? When all is well and all manner of things is well. Well, that's awful. Uh, lamentable relics. I should come back with coffee. Interesting. Do you have shops? Oh, wow. I could buy a lamentable relic with a secret. I'm really curious. Wait, what can I do with them? Oh, interesting. I can buy all sorts of things for secrets. I can buy the element of the dawn with supplies. This is all sorts of weird stuff. I can buy secrets. This is the weirdest place. Uh, I think I'm going to go. I'm really tempted to sacrifice that relic. It costs a secret. Secrets are level ups, basically. Um... This is all of us one day, but let's not be in a tearing hurry. I can buy long boxes. This is just crazy. This is like a like a how to to trade for story items location. That's really neat. Uh, that's the strangest place. Uh, let's go south to Estable. Everything will be fine. Oh, terror goes up faster away this far east. Hmm, that's no good. I like the music around Estival. I think it's good. Makes me want to watch, uh... Oh, God, what's that Celtic, like... Uh... Myth movie. Secret of Kells? Man, it's good. Estival, son! Fill a mirror catch box. I need an empty one. Man, I wish I had two. Uh... Gather supplies... Gain nine supplies. Oh, it goes down each time. Compile a port report. And I'm not going to fill... Oh. Oh, God. I could get a mirror catch box back up there. How am I doing on fuel? Uh, not good. doing it. The box will remain filled with light until it is opened, even underground. They do it with mirrors. The light, it's pretty. You know of a sunlight-filled mirror catch box. I've lost the empty mirror catch box. Uh, it wasn't very far. I'm gonna go get another mirror catch box. I think I could afford it. I think it was just a secret. Uh, where did I get the first one? Damn it. I don't remember anything in this game.
My goodness. Strange pump puffs of warmth from the air behind the ice. This is the pillared sea where Irem will lie. Lies has always lain. I love that this is, if, if anyone's unfamiliar with it, there's this genius movie uh, called Light Years. Uh, it's also called Gandahar, I think. Uh, no, I want to go to the shops. I want an empty mirror catch box. No! Oh, I can. Buying it. All right. Let's plot a course down to Polythreme and the Chelinet, because that's where I'm headed. Uh, then I will have to head back. Where did I find fuel super cheap? That was Mount something other. There's the Empire of Hands, Godfall, Swallowing Isles, Melting Isles. Where was Mount Palmerston? I found it last time. Uh, oh, there it was. I already passed it. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, no. The Zaylor, horrors below, Zaylors at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says, his voice a tremble. Don't look. Very chancy. No, I'm not going to look. Whatever's down there, it better. it's better not to know. They'll forget soon enough. I've lost a terror. Good. Uh, I just have to go straight to, to Polythreme. Yeah, and then just get out of here. Because you're just low on fuel. Alright. It's going to be a long, quiet, peaceful, unhindered journey. Because really, with just this much terror, I'm getting really close to a mutiny, and I don't want a mutiny. the next step of that is, because I've got the mirror catch box that's, that's full. Hmm. 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 What will it be? We're still headed kind of straightish for polythrene. Adjust the course a little bit. <sighs> Gaining terror at the yellow rate, which is about twice... I can add this to my map. That'd be good. Oh, there we go. The Fink Nuttle Vortex. Ah, and I just entered the uh, zone where I can find uh, Nuncio, which I'm continuing past. Uh, if I complete that, I can't do my uh, my tireless mechanics uh, quest. We are at the Sea of Voices. We are the undersea musical number. We sing, we sing, we dance. We don't dance. We can't dance. We're just faces. We're here to scare you and eat you. All of the nouns that are written on our... Uh, all of the words written on our island are terribly freaky. We carved teeth. Would you like to see the island's teeth? No, I'll pass, thanks. Sup? How's it going? I only got seven fuel. I need to go straight back home. Huh. 
How's it going, guys? Polythreme here is screaming. Gather intelligence because it's good to do that. Uh, shore leave will reduce terror. I have a lot. And it's 30 echoes. I will gladly carry the claim into London. And I do have a watchful curio. An audience with the King of the Hundred Hearts. The clay broker, leaning on his copper staff, examines you coolly. The King will see your little friend, he says. No, he won't see you. Not just now. He gestures for your hand with the watchful curio. Sure, I'll play your silly little game. That night... The hill of Polythreme quakes, the words on the walls uncurl themselves, the birth cries are everywhere heard as claymen sit up, opening incurious eyes awaiting their tithing to London. The clay broker waits on a quayside, on the flat palm of his broad hand the watchful curio squats, but it is changed. Our regards to stone is all he says. You now have a wakeful idol. Interesting. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, it's, I think it's just time to go straight west. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have enough fuel to go anywhere else. I wish Mount Palmerston was more centrally located. Ugh. Ugh. I'm the singing face. Singing face I am. I am the singing face. It does seem ominous, doesn't it? A wakeful idol. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Hopefully I can turn it into an heirloom and keep it in my house. Um, I don't know what heirlooms do, actually. I assume they help me retire. Uh-oh. What, what do you mean? Okay. People seem to think it's a lot easier to... Uh, to get money in this game than I found it, uh, because, like, w I don't make much echoes. Like, I don't get it. I'm gonna get the Caminus Yards Cannon next. I mean, that's for damn sure. Uh, but I don't even understand. Do I want to stop by this harbor? Or do I just want to keep going? Am I doing enough fuel? I want to keep going. If I need to, I'll buy fuel from the, the watch boat that's just a little ways west. Laughter from the foredeck. Well, probably because we've got extreme, like, inapproachably horrible terror. Which isn't going up now that I'm in the, the Sea of Lilies. I didn't realize that it was that safe. That's cool. That's really cool. That's fine. Uh-oh. The Neath. The cavern that holds the Untersea is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps that would explain it. Dose yourself with black spore and you're likely and you're less likely to dream. You've lost two terror. No dreams, only the cool press of night. Nice. I've lost some terror. Wonderful. Wonderful.
The world is... Oh, I've, I've crossed a ley line of some kind. Hopefully these guys have fuel. I can't remember. I think I say that every time I come past this boat and it doesn't work out. What? I've got another fucking dream? Ah, failed it. I don't want to listen to the dreams because I think I get terrible nightmares from it. Row of Z-Bats. Mm -mm. Light ship. Purchase fuel. 20 Echoes. Uh, yeah. I already spent my recent news. Will that one do it? Yeah, that should do it. You've entered a fog bank! Hooray! Oh god, but terror really increases in a fog bank. Oh, I didn't realize that. I have regrets. I have regrets. Okay. Uh, how is my hold doing. I do not have 20 spare spaces to have a wakeful idol. You sense anticipation. Uh, if that's the case, I will go north to Hunter's Keep. North-ish. Yes, I know we're in a fog bank and everything's bad. Everything's bad. The jelly floor. Oh god, terror's increasing rapidly. Keep going, Captain, you can do it. You can do it. Normally I'd go by Hunter's Keep and get some supplies. Unfortunately, I burnt it to the ground because I got greedy. <sighs> I could also, I think, reduce terror by going on a vision quest at the Salt Lions, but... Uh, hmm, I'll pass. I'll pass. So, uh, probably the next episode of Among Rogues, my uh, diary that I'm keeping while playing this game... Uh, it's going to have some pretty significant impacts on the development of uh, the Crooked Thimble's first game title. Uh, I think I think I'm going to talk about fast travel because it's a whole damn thing. And this game doesn't have it at all. And most games that I find that do have it don't handle it well. It just makes the game worse. Uh, vision quests can reduce terror depending on... Uh, what it is you choose to do and which one it is. I just remember that the Salt Lions one I think is really peaceful. And so I think you lose like 20 terror or something odd like that. Oh god, this could actually really spike. Oh, I can look in the ruins. Oh. 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 Excavate the cellar. <laughs> Beneath Hunter's Keep. It takes a full day to queer away the sufficient away sufficient ruins to reach the cellars. In the deepest subcellar, your candles illuminate a litter of tumbled stones, the remnants of a temple. The signs on the stones have a Kagian Kaganian look. A pool at the cellar's center is almost dry. The remaining water there seems oddly seethes oddly in the candlelight as if it were near boiling but it's quite cool to the touch god who would do that why would you touch the wa fine whatever the writhing the writhing river flows near here the mechanic remarks one of the tributaries of a dream my enemies find me when i sleep but this water will attract my enemies to this poor fellow he bends to dip his hand in the water and sketches a sign on the clay man's forehead the man watches him stolidly <laughs> The mechanic hands him the mirror catch box. Hold this, he says. Keep it open. Don't let go, no matter what happens. The clay man's huge hands enfold the box. There. 
the mechanic says, turning to you. A serpent trap. Now I can sleep. I can finally sleep. He smiles. And then I think I may be, be, offer, may be able to offer you something rather interesting. Speak to the mechanic on board your ship to advance the story further. I've lost one clay man. I still have five. <laughs> lost the mirror catch box, lost supplies, and now have a serpent trap. Hmm. Ah. Let's speak to you. It might be messy, he warns you. Could you have a couple of strong zailers standing by? Tell them to snap the box shut when the trouble begins. He holds up a bottle of laudanum. I will be sleeping deeply. <laughs> a certain amount of excitement. When nothing seems to be happening, you take your own bunk, but a roar from the clayman brings you sprinting back to the mechanic's cabin. You fling open the door. The man's eyes seethe with viric flame. He's, it's struggling against the effort of the sailors to restrain it. As you rush to assist, it flings one sailor off, but another manages to snap the box closed. <laughs> Instantly, the man goes stiff, a lifeless clay statue. The viric glow now pulsates from the box. In the bunk, the mechanic sleeps on, his faith wreathed in dreamy smiles. He will sleep so until morning. You now have a mirror catch full of very angry dream snakes. You've learned the mechanic stole a secret from the dreams of the stone pigs. You've lost a serpent trap. Ask the mechanic to explain exactly what the hell is going on. Well, it's like this. Well, I can get the rest of this. Well, it's like this. I stole a secret from the Echo Bazaar with the help of the Finger Kings. You know, the serpents who rule the dr rule dream. Then I reneged on the Finger Kings. Don't look at me like that. Would you rather I'd given them the secret? Pigs of stone. I talk about engines all the time, I'm sure you've noticed, and I dream about them. I found myself dreaming of the stone pigs. They're, oh, I don't entirely understand still, but they're on, they're how the bazaar travels between stars. Did you know they did that? And they sleep so the Finger Kings can crack their dreams open. So the Finger Kings recruited me. <laughs> I found a secret in those dreams, an engine like the Z's never seen. Oh, Captain, let me build it for you. You won't be sorry, but there will be some things I'll need. I know, isn't it always the way? <laughs> Objective, materials of the impeller, qualities now one. Take one element of dawn, one casket of sapphires, and 40 units of Stygian ivory. I know where to find those. <laughs> An occurrence, the mechanic's secret in Frostfound is one. Find Frostfound in the north and retrieve the mechanic's secret. Uh, the unsettling sage quality is now rescue or ransom him from wisdom. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God, why? I need more crew. I need more crew because I'm going to go to war with wisdom. It'll be great. It will be great. Chopper guy. I make very short videos chopping random objects. Yes. A chop. Fair. Interesting way to advertise, sir. I wonder what kind of chopper he speaks of. The image is of a karate chop. <laughs> Who knows? That sounds like somebody that you would run into on the Sunless Sea, so it seems appropriate for the stream. I made it. A breath of relief. Terror is reduced to 50. Thank goodness. Collect messages. Okay, we're good. Uh, now, if I remember, the Venturer actually has something to say to me. But first, I go spend time with my family. I'm going to tell... Oh. I'm going to give them a mis memory of distant shores. 
my Z Fever is now at 13. I have 25, by the way, I know that this becomes the next captain. Uh, and I've lost a bunch of terror. Good. Uh, Venturer's Desires. Oh, I thought you were the one who wanted to know that I found the Edge of Nothing. Uh, I'm going to read the morning papers because you should always do that. I could rest and lower I don't can't afford it can't afford the mansion neither uh, so let's go take out London deliver the claim and I gained a hundred echo good job uh, hire on new crew who's the new recruit just a sailor who I can get for like nothing welcome welcome to the crew Uh, how much will this cost? 30 echoes? Uh, mm, yeah. I'll pass. My ship is undamaged. Time to visit the Admiralty's office and earn, hopefully, some fuel. Uh, here's Demo's Gate and Hunter's Keep. Mount Palmerston. Now I've got an extra favor. Hunter's Keep's End, which I bet gave me some favor. This is. Ghastly news! The poor girls! We had warned them that they weren't safe, but it had been so long, I thought, well, it's done. Thank you. I will have to look into the matter of a supply post. Chapel of Lights! Gain fuel and favors. There's something about the Untersee that breeds heresy and dissent. I rather think we need to send a Bishop of Southwark out for a good bit of Christian shouting. The Avid Horizon. I hope you intend to tell me that everything is quiet there. Polythreme. Uh, he doesn't have anything interesting to say. Or about that. Irem. Oh god. Oh god. What tense is it written in? Oh god. Just look. Just read it to my colleague here. He'll give you your fee. I'll be over there when you're done. I still gotta go to the Chelinet. Uh, I've got plenty of fuel right now. Uh, what is a visit from Mr. Sachs? Oh God. Midnight. A presence dominates your lodgings. Its fur-trimmed robe is the red blood on snow. Over your chair hangs a familiar brown sack, bulging with offerings. Londoners give generously to the crimson beast of winter, anything to be rid of it. The figure stares into the fireplace, smelling of soft musk and harsh ammonia. I require a sturdy vessel and a captain. Yours comes recommended. You will suffice. <laughs> Mr. Sachs, take my service, an ancient contract, words not to be spoken lightly. You may wish to wait until you have explored the main trading ports around London before doing this. Uh, boop. The deal is struck. The beast withdraws its hand from the fireplace, examining it. Packed lacquer neath snow. It disappears back into the incar incarnadine robe three deliver deliveries by your release do not tarry you have much to lose mr sax has boarded your ship well shit fine uh he's not learning about he's not favors where is the objective for mr sax uh, I would have expected Mr. Sax. Sax and Snow. <laughs> Too much time he may, and he may take you. Uh, I don't see where I'm supposed to go. Is he? I didn't realize that that was a crew member. God, it's a crew member. I had no idea. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Mr. Sachs! Uh... 
Uh, I don't understand. Uh, okay. I guess maybe it will come up later. <laughs> ah, okay. In service of Mr. Sachs, the Crimson Beast of Winter lurks in your hold. This is not a healthy situation for you, your ship, or your crew. Mr. Sachs is waiting, clutching what looks like a leg of lamb. The meat is rotten. The bone is well chewed. A fool sought a name that devours. It devoured him. A lifetime's wealth wasted on cravings that can never be satiated. When all was eaten, he stripped the meat from his fingers in search of solace. Still the hunger gnawed and screamed in his belly. He thought his pitiful offering of poison might free him. Debts are not so easily paid. <laughs> Deliver this to Khan's heart or to Pigmoat Isle. Okay, I can do that. That's not uh, the end of everything. Uh, I need more fuel and more supplies. So I'm going to get Admiralty Fuel Stores. Uh, how am I doing? In, how's my hold, actually? I have a sun-filled mirror catch box. A mirror catch box full of angry dream snakes. I still have candles. I still have a flare. Uh... Yeah, I should just fill up on stuff. Uh, let us drop by. Uh, oh, I can purchase live specimens. That's right. That's how I can do that. Wow, they're expensive. Uh, let's go to the shops and let's go to Camus Yards. And where's the heart ender? It costs 1500 That's what I am looking for. <laughs> Uh, shipside provisioners. Uh, I have enough to just buy fuel. Let's not waste uh, stuff. Uh, do I want to get even more fuel? Uh, let's do that. That should be plenty, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just head out to Nuncio, I guess. Khan's Heart or Pigmoat Isle. Not Nuncio. Uh, is there any other crazy stuff to do in London? Nope. Uh, I could hire on another crew. Let's go. Gained three crew. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I've lost a terror from it. That's wonderful. Uh, let's roll. I need to find Pigmoat Island. Uh, where is it? This is Pigmoat Isle. Saints Haven, right there. Uh... Somebody wants mushroom wine. I can't remember who it is. Because I could buy the rest of mushroom wine. Uh, while I'm here. How's my hold doing? Hold capacity. 36 out of 40. Uh, speak to. Muter salt. Speak to. Torpedo parts. Speak to. Uh. <laughs> Everything is awful. Uh, and then speak to. Because I've got like a bunch of stuff to do for this guy too. Alright. I can't speak to you because you're still a mascot. Uh, who is it that sells? I thought one of you actually sold mushroom wine, which doesn't cost very much. Oh, I can buy a mute now. I can sell muter salt. Uh, do I want to get a bunch of mushroom wine? Nah, since I don't remember what it's for. Let's just go. Pigmoat Island's plenty easy to get to. We can drop by Mutton, drop by the Sisterhood, go to Pigmoat. Pigmoat is much easier to get to than Khan's Heart. Thank you very much.
All of this talk of food, including the eating people food on the other island, has reminded me that I didn't eat breakfast and I'm really, really hungry. Oh. No. I refuse. Good luck, jerk. I have a lot of heart, but I still haven't upgraded my iron at all, so I don't really see the point in getting in a fight with anything, ever. Did it just go underwater? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, there's another one just next to Quaker's Haven. So fuck that place. Bye. Let's just go down to the Shepherd Isles. It'll be great. Oh god. This is probably worth it. take. Loot and scuttle her. I now have a cache of curiosities. Open. Gain two fuel. Great. <laughs> Great. I like this just terrifying, terrifying Santa Claus just waiting to murder me. Putting me in his sack. <laughs> what am I terror doing? Am I still? That's not great. Getting two fuel was nice. Since I just burned through it so quickly. Compile port report. Ah, uh, this is where I'm supposed to bring the mushroom one. Good, and this is another place I can stop to get provisions. Nice. Drop at the Sisterhood. Abbey Rock. And move on east. Man, I am not feeling good. I might actually have a cold. This is no good. No good at all. I have myself a nice healthy breakfast when this is over. And uh, see how I'm doing. If I bring a strange catch, I can gain Scintillac. That's nice. I will compile another port port. Uh, knock at the iron studded gates with news. Lost to terror. Uh, I don't want to trade them stuff. Okay. Strange catch to get sent back. That's probably worth it. It seems like a uh, sort of the fighter's means of uh, gaining Scintillac if you've got a lot of iron. How am I doing on secrets? Where do I find that? Fuck.
Lick a Monkey Crag. I don't recommend it. I've met the monkeys. They're awful. They, they steal and buy souls. <laughs> Pentecost apes. My goodness. My goodness. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. We just monkey your souls. We eat your souls for breakfast. And then we wear them like crowns. Boom. First delivery. A delivery for Mr. Sachs. That's far enough from London. It will suffice. Pigmoat's stored food diminishes quickly. Hungry rats and cavies stare at each other. A new glint passing from eye to eye as the cravings and stomach pangs spread. They stop to watch you in silence as you go past, mouths salivating. In the middle of the small town, a few of the hungriest begin digging a well. <sniffs> okay. Oops. That's probably bad. Uh, I've still compile a port report. Uh... I can purchase Sintelac, I can visit the rat ghetto, or I can resolve a dilemma. Let's do this. A dilemma on Pigmoat Isle. A cloaked man in a hippo mask stands surrounded by a pack of rodent soldiers. We caught this one sneaking around by the... The aide hesitates, pause sketching the shape of Pigmoat's blue Sintelac. What should we do with hairless advisor? Speak to the mysterious masked man. Yeah, totally. He claims to be from an island called Visage. Beyond that, the rodents have learned nothing. The visitor from the land of masks. He draws himself to his full height. Flourishing blessings upon you, noble frog. Mm. The light of our lost left eye draws our gaze. I come but to confirm it is as our squires foretold, and the speech goes on for some time. Damn it. Is there anyone in the neath that doesn't covet Cavia's lump of blue scintillac? <laughs> advocate for his release, advocate for his arrest. Uh... Yes, Pigmode Isle is not ready to handle the repercussions of imprisoning or executing a citizen of another nation. <laughs> The man from Visage is released, free to tell the stories of what he saw here. In time, others will no doubt come to see for themselves. <coughs> that will increase Cavia's legitimacy. A, fur a furry general grumbles about the additional burden of handling visitors. The second delivery. Mr. Sachs produces a jeweled bird. The thief thought it would bring her riches. Perhaps it would, but when the gracious widow and the cheery man both covet what you stole, mere money ceases to be of a concern. <sniffs> to offend one or make an enemy of the other, she sought a third way. A moment of inspiration came too late. We want no part in this feud. Settle it. <sniffs> Take this to the smugglers of the Isle of Cats to favor the widow, or the Cherryman's agent on Mutton Island. <laughs> Have I found the Isle of Cats? Nope. It's got to be down there somewhere. <laughs> but I know where Mutton Island is. I just went past it. Go to I could head back to Mutton Island after failing to find things out here. I don't know where the Island of Cats is. I'm not carrying anything specifically for it. So, let's make a round trip. South and east. South and east. Let's see what we find. Crimson Beast of Winter. Goodness. Ugh. It's worse than Sandy Claws. 
Oh, Jesus. X, Mary, and Joseph. Lights off. Don't get its attention. You can in no way fight that thing. At all. If it spots you, you run. Apparently in the zone with the Isle of Cats, because there's a message at the bottom that kind of says so. <laughs> oh, right, I've got a Z-Bat. That's what this fucking thing is for. The Visage. Okay. I'm meaning to go to Visage now, now that I found a dude from there. Visage. Am I? <clears throat> Peter's Rock. The rocks. There they are. I found them. They're Peter's Rocks. First, this is the port of visage where faces may not be naked, except one, a stone monument the size of a village church, serenely gazing upwards, flourishing of years. Create a port report. A departing merchant gives you a confused account of crocodiles and honey cakes and something about ear blockage? This, and you add your own impressions about the street layout close to port and types of commerce here, then the lights are especially bright. It is possible to make out the details of the profile of the great stone face. <laughs> sure, I'll go, sure. <clears throat> Terms, all those who enter must play their parts. The sign is visible only after you've crossed the threshold. Check out the custom house. No one may wander visage at will. <laughs> All visitors must pass, one by one, through a room guarded by a person in the mask of a moon moth. Moon moth. Fort moon moth. Choice of masks. Masks and an assortment of shapes and colors await. Ask to go without a mask. No. Ask the significance of the masks. They called me a frog. Moonmouth explains. Each mask declares a different intention towards the denizens of visage, and must be accompanied by suitable behavior. The frog is for visitors who, though perhaps clumsy and unfamiliar with local etiquette, have come in order to observe local ways and make uncouth comments about them. The locust is for those who seek profit in visage and would carry away as many goods as possible. You prompt about the bat. Moonmouth hesitates. Bat is an ill-omened visitor. Sent as a messenger or a spy, Bat always dies. Oh, wear the frog mask first. <laughs> Moon Moth lifts the mask and places it over your head. The eye holes are large and are fitted with spectacles. These improve your view of the environment, though you must look bulb-like from outside. There is also a mechanism attached to the mouthpiece, which magnifies any sounds you make, even your breathing. You start to thank the moon moth, and it comes out as a booming croak. 
May you profit from your visit in knowledge, says the moon moth. Its wings fold flatly over its back. On the lower slopes, stone buildings, flat roofs, archways. In the architecture, there lingers a memory of lotus and palm frond. The hill above is a face, forever looking up in this, uh, up at the ceiling of the Untersee. No one inhabits its cheeks or the hollows of its eyes. Visit the Library of Parts. <laughs> Stoop at the lintel, enter the dark. A room of heavy stone, guarded by a golden statuette of a woman with outstretched arms. The scroll niches, sorted to correspond to a variety of masks, the jackal and the lioness, the crocodile and the dung beetle. A woman in the mask of a lotus blossom is standing at the lectern, reading in silence. Moon Moth stands to one side as you escort your tour, as your escort and tour guide. What sort of parts are they, anyway? Moon Moth explains, people think it means something like Library of Fragments, but this is wrong. The parts in question are like parts in a play. This is where the den denizens of Visage come in order to learn how to perform their masks more accurately, more completely, with truer spirit. Write notes in the margins. Doing it. The moon math is startled. Apparently no other frog has gone so far as to attempt to deface the library's holdings. It gets the pen away from you, expostulating. Later you find it writing down a record of what you just did, to be added to the library of parts, a recollection of what can be expected from frogs. Visit the flood court. The flood court is a long stone room with two ranks of columns on each side. Currently, the court is ankle deep in water, though water st stains on the stone show that the flood has often reached higher, something up to the height of your waist. In a raised niche at the far end of the room sits a statue of a man with the head of a ram. He holds a jar from which water flows out onto the floor. <laughs> Ask about the purpose of the room. From a corner, from a corner, Moon Moth picks up a graduated stick. He shows you how a person standing at the end of the room may dip the stick into the water and use it to measure the water level at a pre-selected point, and how the measurements are compared with measurements written on a calendar. If the water level does not match the calendrical position, an assembly of pipes and drains is used to adjust it. It used to be, said the moth. The water rose and fell of its own accord, and the people before wrote down what height it reached. Now the water is still, but thanks to their actions, we can replicate the rise and fall, so is the pleasing of the god of flood. It completes the explanation with a half-body half bow towards the statue of the ram deity. <laughs> Tastelessly compare the room to other bodies of water. Frog knows water. Moon Moth watches inscrutably while you talk about other bodies of water that have impressed you more than this one. Deeper, clearer, colder, more densely populated with fish. Other denizens move away from you and towards one another. Your social function is well performed. It's my fucking job. End the performance and leave the island. You can't stay in character forever. You say farewell to the Moon Moth. It makes gestures you now recognize as agitation. Perhaps there was some other plan for you here, but no one consulted you about it. You have other things to attend to. Your last sight of visage, the moon moth, the moth smoothing the folds of, of your robe from your robe and hanging your mask on a peg for the next visitor. That's very cute. Uh, do you have shops? Mm, no, that'd just be too convenient. All right, folks, uh, I have to find the island of cats somewhere. Uh, or I could just go to Mutton Island, and that will be the, uh, the next, uh, the next, uh, episode. So, uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, and, uh, hopefully it's saved. Uh. Thank you, everyone, for, uh, listening, and I... Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. We will be doing more shows on Tuesday and then next Thursday and then I'm going on vacation for a week. 
it's really exciting. So please do uh, come visit our Patreon page at uh, patreon.com slash crooked thimble and uh, check out our other videos on the page and uh, check out uh, the crooked thimble.com to find out what crazy things we've been up to. All right. Good night. <laughs>